The Land Before Time, a beautifully animated movie that has captured all of our hearts growing up and was easily one of the best movies that could have rivaled Disney itself. Today it's regarded as an obvious classic by many, including myself who grew up loving the movie and its 500 straight to video sequels. But there's been a lot of talk recently about the live action Little Mermaid, Peter Pan, and Lilo and Stitch, and it got, to, got me thinking, would a live action, or a remake essentially, work for Land Before Time? So that's something I want to talk about. I want to bring in all of the aspects, why it probably won't work, and why it, why it could work. First off, I want to draw attention to the live action Disney remakes. Um, the, the things that I think suffer the most from these remakes are the animal characters. Because for the most part, Disney's going for a live action interpretation of this story, which means that there's really nothing that's stylized to be adapted unless it's like a mythical creature or something or a genie. And so I think that the characters that suffer the most from this are the animal. And that's mainly because when you see them in a cartoon in the animated form, they're able to be a lot more expressive and give off the emotion that they're feeling simply from their facial expressions along with the voice acting, if they have a voice. And that's something that just doesn't translate to their live action because even though the animals are still CGI for the most part within these remakes, they are kept to be as realistic as possible to fit the kind of style they're going for. They're not stylized in any way. Take this shot from The Lion King, for example. This shot depicts Simba staring at a herd of wildebeests tumbling toward him as he's in utter fear of the situation that he is in. But you can't tell that from his facial expression. Here is the exact same shot from the original. See the difference? So the simple truth is, is that these animals aren't able to really emote the same way that humans can, and so they lose a lot of their charm. And this problem would just get exacerbated with dinosaurs, assuming they'd go with as realistic as possible. Because while yes, dinosaurs like T-Rex had lips, their lips did not have any muscles in them, so therefore they couldn't even do something as much as snarl which is something that they relied heavily on in the uh, Lion King remake. In order to show whenever, say, Simba or Mufasa are angry, they'll snarl. But if we're being completely honest, if a remake of The Land Before Time happened, it would not be as realistic as possible. It would probably be, be stylized like most dinosaur media is, at least giant dinosaur media, like released to cinema's dinosaur media. So let's assume that they would take the... Disney's dinosaur route, in which they basically place human faces on these dinosaur bodies, save for the Carnotauruses. Now, for me, this isn't too bad. Like, it's not really an issue for me, but I completely understand why people think this is creepy. <coughs> so if you applied that same methodology to Land Before Time, something like that could probably work. You could probably have these, these beloved characters emote the same way that they did in the original, and you might be able to get some of those emotions off because, of course, they are dinosaurs. A lot of the industry takes a lot of creative liberty with that anyway, and so something like that is not too far-fetched. So great, maybe the dinosaur models could work. Maybe, that's a big maybe. But let's talk about the overall scenery because this is another thing that a lot of people take away from the first movie. The scenery is incredible. They were obviously going for something that is a lot darker um a lot creepier essentially it's like it's kind of weird that this belongs in a kids movie but the the atmosphere is incredible everything just has an air of danger to it but that's something that i feel would probably kind of get toned down into live action or live action like and that's mainly because it's extremely stylized for animation and things are able to be emphasized for animation. Just look no further than the Sharp Tooth versus Littlefoot's mother scene. It's incredible. There's rocks being lifted in the air as the earth splits apart. It's, it's intense, it's exhilarating, and it's something that's really hard to pull off in a live-action-like thing, at least convincingly, to the same dramatic effect. I'm not saying it can't be done, but very often is it not done. Another comparison to Lion King, look no further than the Be Prepared scene, Scar's song, in the original Lion King, where the, the colors are so vibrant and the, the rocks are literally lifting up into the sky with Scar on top of it to represent the power he's about to take. And in the 2019 remake, he has a glorified speech where he climbs some rocks. 
So that, that's like essentially the problem is a lot of times things are kind of toned down with live action because you're a, it's harder to kind of suspend your disbelief when you're looking at something that is supposed to be live action. Again, I'm not saying this can't be done. We have several disaster movies where this is pulled off convincingly, but there's a good chance that it'll lose a lot of its effect once it's translated to that different animation style. But here's the good question when it comes to all of this. Do we even need a Land Before Time remake? I don't think so. The original already exists. And honestly, this whole trend of going back to what worked in the past and remaking that is getting really tired to me. I'm someone who likes to dive into brand new stories and likes to, to open up my worldview when it comes to something like that. And because the biggest company in the entertainment industry is just remaking all of their classics simply because they know that works, it's getting really old to me. And I really don't want another studio to follow in that path and start remaking old classics simply because they knew that that worked. But then again, there is a small part of me that just absolutely loves dinosaur media and I love seeing live action type dinosaurs on the big screen. So I am kind of torn, but I'm leaning more towards the fact that I don't think this is really something that's, that's needed. Because again, the original exists, the original is a classic, the original is great, it's heartfelt, it's emotional, everybody loves it. I don't necessarily think we need that story retold. Maybe another story with dinosaurs that is along the same vein. Of course, Disney's dinosaur already tried that, but it didn't work out too well, so who truly knows? But let me know your guys' thoughts. Do you want a live action remake of The Land Before Time? If you do, why? Tell us your reasons. If you don't, also, tell us your reasons. I have no idea why I stalled there, but I did. But like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and, you know, have an awesome day.